Oh, hey guys, hey everyone, it's Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to another Bonicle review, and this one's on uh, Rakshi Gurok and Pa Rock from 2003, of course. So, starting with the one manual entry that I have for Gurok here with uh, the large Bonicle logo and picture of the Gurok in action and the low the name Lego logo and set number eight five nine zero. First page of which kind of shows the mask of light and shadow and Matinui in the in the center of course. On the back, advertisement of all the rock she's in, all the Kratas that there are in Bonicle.com. And add for the Bonicle Mask of Light movie and the game that there was. And then add for Makuta. And then advertisement for uh, Darlin Gukubur and Taku and Puku. And of which, and that, of which next, next throwback Thursday as well. And then that one at next, next throwback Thursday after. So expect those coming up. Or maybe just together in one video, however I feel like it, but yeah. And then add for Takanuva, of course. And then some steps for the combination model that there is. And then how to store in the cast, or just like the Bulrock from the previous two years, of course. And then the final building steps for it. Now, starting out with the blue one, Gurok, of course. Which, from first glance, same build as all the rock she sets. Since, of course, for, uh, throughout this time until Toa and Aika, they're same build, but different color, different mask, different weapon. But in this case, of which, different staff tips and different spine protrusions, of course. Like, as for the legs, at which, as you see, same build as all the rock she sets, but foot piece in blue, like with the piston and so on. But yeah. And of course, the uh, thigh piece, which has been reused on a lot of sets afterwards. And also, do you have the only bend of knees, which first time in all, in all the sets, would, and then carry on to all the rest of the line, of course. And however, this top piece particular, which was reused with Makuta this same year, but also with the uh, with Toldi Khan Kikanalo, yeah, the following year, of course. But however, all the hand connectors in blue are in blue, suiting to this set. And as for the mill section here, same build as all the Vaki sets the following year, and also does have the gear function where you can turn it in and make this act turn back and forth. And also this large so shoulder kind of part that holds the arms in as well. And, and as for this uh, upper body part, which this holder part in it, which was, was exclusive to them for quite long, and also in uh, Puku and a couple of sets in this same year, but and this hasn't been used in any sets after that, after that until in 2007 with the uh, uh, Baraki Mantax, of course. And then as for the uh, back part of which, when is the yes, traditional uh, back piece in blue, of course, but although And also for the uh, back spine piece of which, uh, thin and kind of sea serpent like, but however, this one particular, only time, only one that was ever reused outside of Bonacle, and that which was in the uh, Vikings line with the Midgard Serpent Zet from there. 
and like the others, opens up and there's the crot or crota, of course. And each one of which did have a specific uh, name and uh, face to it. Here's kind of how that is. Although the, but this which was just for my copy of the set, but yours could be different, of course. And as for the headpiece, which does have the translucent orange, uh, orange hand connector bit to give it the light piping effect, and also the headpiece, which is same as all the other Rakshi sets, but, and of course these well, headpieces were reused on most other sets the following few years, of course, like the Rahaga and the two Hydrukas, but then of course in 2010 stars there was the one Rakshi that had these together, of course. Oh, and speaking of which, as for the arms of which, just the same as all Toamatas and such, but and then have the staff of which. But however, with these those staff ends which are kind of water like, but however were reused on later sets like, like even reused on a uh, Stars Rakshi in twenty ten, but it was very interesting. Also used on Pohatu and Kopaka in twenty fifteen generation two Bronicle sets, in which only one of these pieces that were ever reused at was in Generation 2, of course. Very fascinating how that is. But yeah. And also to point out is that, like in the Mask of Light movie, where, and also in a couple of short videos, is you can put their feet forward and it makes some, a flight mode to it. If anyone understands why exactly that was, well, comment below. And also in those short videos, they oftentimes held their weapons just as this, nothing else. And of course, until they get their staffs together and plunge them in the, in the ground, of course. And I guess that is about it. Well, about it for Gurak here. And now on to Pa Rock, of course. Or Pen Rock, of course. And of course, same build as all the Rock Sheets, but the hand pieces and er and most else are in dark brown. Or, and of course, nice as all the usual stone elemented bonkles tend to have, but also oh, which nice to have for mocking. Like legs of which. All of the same build, but foot pieces in brown. Which, if people can get these pieces separately, which you can definitely use that on Karapar of the in the Baraki line to give them more stone feel, of course. Even though Karapar and uh, Kangumari only sets to ever reuse this piece, of course. But also Kikanalo the following year, of course, but but not as an actual foot, of course. As for the upper part, which like for the staff part here, which look kind of bit trident like, but except except is being used for stone uh, piercing, of course. And I'm not sure if it's me, but I think this might have came in some other sets, but I don't know. But whatever. And then as for his back spine protrusions, which kind of an interesting take to it, which do have a lot of bits to it like some others do. But however, it's like going back and forth, sort of like a stegosaurus dinosaur does that, but instead used here. So kind of neat to see some variety of that. And also what's kind of interesting is that in one comic book or comic strip is where it showed these two Rakshis side by side, but however, this uh, spine was on Pa Rock here, and his spine piece was on Goo Rock here, and they swapped the staff bits. And really not sure why they did that, but if any of you know why, comment down below. But yeah.
And so now, on to the final verdict. So overall, I think these two which are quite cool sets for how they are. Especially Gurak with some nice blue added in, or brightish blue to that, like on most of the other earlier Bonacle set was intended to have. And of course, whereas, and also see, nice to see some dark brown in sets with Parak, of course, but although for Gurak's here, great to have some uh, uh, weapon piece that was later used in most other sets in which which I don't think we got to see whether it's pa, pan rock of course but whatever but at least we got but at least we got to see some bit of chance is used on some sets of which, even though these are which may have been cloned sets uh, yet again but at least they're still all right with color schemes and so on and uh, what else and I think that's about it but yeah and so now, if any of you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some great memories of them. And for those of you who have it and still have access to these sets, I'd say definitely pick them up. eBay, Bricklink, Ricari, whatever. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.